and don't forget to save once more and let's actually well let's let's put a bunch of them right here so you have many people to go actually he is out of screen yep that's good so uh what we need to do right now is bring up this lock the target and uh let's make the kill count so we need some text make this one like uh purplish I guess so yeah that kind of sticks out um 40 now let's make it red like Uh, orangey, red, that's it. So, um, align it on the top left, and on the left and top, uh, so it's in the left top corner, and right next, let me make this a little bit smaller, and right next to this, you want to alt-click it, uh, that means you copy it and you want to change this to dynamic text delete any text that's inside whoa there make this a little bit bigger and align this on the left to the left I guess and then this variable kill count okay so um, um, go to the first frame where you had written stop and write kill count oh, excuse me var kill count colon number equals zero and semicolon so um, this declares the variable kill count which holds the kills so hide the scope and I should have done this before uh, let's erase this because hello it is here if I whoa <laughs> excuse me um yeah don't erase them and go to the the button the enemy button and down uh bit after the go to and play command write root kill count plus plus and semicolon so uh, last thing you want to do is um, take the font the kills font right here and embed it select all and hit OK and flash in order to work with font as variables uh for example right here we we're going to display how many kills you have um you need to embed the font so you need to do that uh for every font you use as a variable well you use it with variables or to count or to output something and so on so on. so let's test our game play you see our kills is zero and if I shoot someone if I click someone 
they die, and I get one kill. Now if I do it again, I get two. Animations are crappy, but I told you. Yeah. Yep. And that's eight kills. So that is my tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please uh, subscribe to see more of my stuff in Flash. And also, um, feel free to post any idea for future tutorials on the comments below because I'm kind of running uh, out of ideas on tutorials. So um, that's it for me. Have a nice day.